Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sirajulak Fancy. I welcome you in my YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn about viscosity measurement. My friend, the aim of this lecture to determine the relative viscosity of given liquid using Oswald viscometer. So, I will focus on the aim. I will show you the requirement of the apparatus and chemicals for this experiment. Later, I will discuss about the theory behind it. Then, I will talk about the procedure. Then, I will show you the observations. Then, how you calculate so calculations then I will discuss about the results so let us start one by one the aim to determine the relative viscosity of given liquid using Oswald viscometer the theory behind it viscosity is the one of property of liquid Liquid may be considered to be consisting of molecular layer. Arrange one over other. You can see in this picture. When a shearing force is applied to a liquid, it flow. The forces of frictions between the layer offer resistance to this flow. Viscosity of a liquid is measure of its frictional resistance. My friend, let us examine a liquid flowing on glass surface. The molecular layer in contact with the stationary surface has zero velocity. It is not moved. The successive layer above it move with increasing higher velocities in direction of flow. So you can see V, 0, V and here just imagine two layer, one area, another area, this is the velocity, another area, velocity V plus dV and the differences between the two area is dx mathematically now consider two adjacent moving layer of a liquid let these two be separated by distance dx and have a velocity differences dv the force of attraction resisting the relative motion of two layer is directly proportional to area a and the velocity difference dv while it is inversely proportional to the D, uh, to the distance dx between the layer means what see the differences directly and inversely inversely proportional to the dx and directly proportional to the dv now when eta greek letter eta is the proportionality constant it is known as coefficient of viscosity coefficient of viscosity or simple viscosity of a liquid. My friend, you can see eta has a specific value for a given liquid at the same temperature. Look at this equation. If directly proportional to area dv by dx, if you replace proportionality, then proportionality constant eta, which is the coefficient of viscosity dv by dx and eta is equal to f by a force area into dx by dv. So, coefficient of viscosity is defined as the force of resistance per unit area which will maintain unit velocity difference between two layer of a liquid at a unit distance from each other. So, unit of viscosity. CGS unit of eta is gram per centimeter per second. It is called poise and SI unit is kg per meter per second. One poise is equal to one tenth of the SI unit 
one price is equal to one gram per centimeter per second, zero point one gram per meter per second. So in that case, n is equal to f when a is equal to one, d b is equal to one, and d x is equal to one. Now Oswald viscometer. There are intermolecular forces in liquid layer which are responsible for the viscosity. Viscosity of a liquid can be determined on the basis of flow time. In fact, viscosity is directly proportional to the flow time. This principle has been used in Oswald viscometer. It consists of two bulb joined by the U tube containing the capillary tube. Look at here. This is the glass where for the determination of vis <coughs> viscosity. You can see this is known as bulb and this is also known as bulb. Here is the opening, here is the opening, here is the small opening, here is the so pour liquid here and suck from here. Now calibration mark. You can see the calibration mark A and B. This is very important. And from B, there is a capillary here, capillary tube. And this is the liquid. So, such side, there is a calibration mark. Remember, because sometimes here you have to put something for sucking. Now, how you will stand it? You can see this one, this side is here and this side is here. So for sucking this side and for pouring this side. Now apparatus required beaker, Oswald viscometer, this pipette, a stopwatch and density bottle. I repeat, beaker, Oswald viscometer, keep in mind this two bulb where you will pour, where is the sack. Here is the pipettes, this is stopwatch, check which stopwatch is working properly or not and density bottle. Now formula. The relative viscosity coefficient is calculated from the expression where eta1 and eta2 are the viscosity coefficient of water and given liquid. T1 and T2 are the flow time of water and given liquid. D1 and D2 are the densities of water given liquid. So eta2 divided by eta1 is equal to T2 divided by T1 multiply by D2 divided by D1. So what is the procedure? My friends, determination of density of water in given liquid, ethanol. First, you have to clean the density bottle with chromic acid solution and then with the distilled water. Rinse with the water and ether and then dry it. Weigh an empty density bottle and that weight is V1. Fill the density metal bottle of distilled water completely. Insert the stopper and weight again. That is the W2. Take out the distilled water and rinse the density water two three times with the given experimental liquids, ethanol. Fill the given experimental liquid ethanol into the density bottle and record the weight. Again, that is W3. Now procedure. Part 2. Determination of viscosity. First, clean the viscometer with the chromic acid solution and then with distilled water. Rinse with water and ether and then dry. Attach the viscometer to the burette stand in exactly vertical position. Already you have seen it. Fill the distilled water in a lower bulb. Lower bulb. You can see. Lower bulb. Fill the distilled water in the lower bulb of the viscometer till the bulb fills completely. Just remember lower bulb. And suck the distilled water from the other end through the rubber tube above mark A. This is the position. Allow water to flow freely. Start the stopwatch as soon as the upper layer of the water cross mark A. Then we have to cross from here to here. You start stopwatch. 
when liquid layer is here stop if it is here start the stop watch as soon as the upper layer of the water cross mark a and they stop the stop watch as soon as it cross mark b repeat the recording of follow time three times for distilled water as well as for the given temperature experimental liquid ethanol now observation and calculation determination of densities of water and given liquid ethanol room temperature first you have to write weight of empty density bottle w1 weight of density bottle with water w2 weight of density bottle with given liquid that is the ethanol w3 volume of density of bottle v is equal to you have to calculate so d1 is equal to v2 minus v1 divided by v d2 is equal to v3 minus v1 divided by v so d2 divided by d1 is equal to v3 minus v1 v2 minus v1 now observation and calculation determine the relative viscosity and absolute viscosity of ethanol viscosity of water at room temperature eta 1 that that is bias so serial number 1 2 3 for water mean t1 for ethanol mean t1 flow time second you have to write the stop watch value here relative viscosity eta 2 divided by eta 1 t2 divided by t1 d2 divided by d1 and absolute viscosity eta 2 t2 divided by t1 d2 divided by d1 and eta 1 now results so relative viscosity of given liquid ethanol relative to water was found to be and absolute viscosity of given liquid ethanol was found to be twice so this is the method of the determinations of viscosity with the help of oswald method viscosity method so this is the uh, for reading you can check like essential physical chemistry s chan publication by arun bahal b s bahal g d tulli university chemistry volume 1 alliance and textbook of chemistry semester 1 himalaya publication so my friends i hope this video will be helpful to you if you like this video then subscribe my channel and thanks for watching